Group 3 World War Hitza. Now, in this section, we're going to talk about the Berlin Airlift. There's a peace treaty divided Berlin into four parts, and each, each controlled by different nations. Uh, they use a lot of planes to transport supplies into it, and uh, they use better planes to transfer even more stuff into Berlin. Now, Berlin Airlift was, well, of course, we talked about this, divided into four sections, each controlled by allies, and one was controlled by the Soviet Union. And the uh, Soviet Union decided to block all supplies into the Allied sections. So they use an airlift by using airplanes and, and throw in supplies using the air. Going over the over the walls and all the robots and all that into the city. More specifically how they did that is to use cargo planes that carry lots and lots of cargo. I mean tons of it. They first started with little smaller cargoes, um, the C-47, going to carry three and a half um, tons of it. But later on they used the C-54 which could carry so many tons of it into Berlin. And now for the Korean War. North Korea was out of the Soviet Union and South Korea was under United States control. After the Berlin Airlift, North Korea invaded and took away quite a bit of land from South Korea. South Korea got more reinforcements and pushed them back all the way to the 38th parallel, which they had to stop for a specific reason, I'll ask you later. And the board's been there ever since. Uh, quite a lot of planes and aces remain at war. And uh, there's planes. The main thing about the Korean War was that it was North Korea taking over the land of South Korea. And the um, main proof is the US used their air power is they had bombers and they bombed air enemy bases of prior runs using their special tactics. And um, uh, North Korean air power was vastly superior than US, um, uh, US air power, but since they're better trained pilots of the US, we were able to push them back up to the 38th parallel, which we had to stop there for North Korean was threatening to um, uh, bring another bigger war if we didn't stop there. So we stopped there, and there you go. And uh, uh, President Harry Truman, uh, he's the one that allowed um, us to uh, bring in our forces. And General Douglas MacArthur, he's the one that commanded the whole army. Uh, 30th Parallel was ready to put the border and couldn't get past. There was a big war. Uh, there's the MIG 15, that was what uh, North Korea and Chinese used. Quite a bit powerful, more powerful than F-86 that we used. But since they were better pilots, we beat them. And uh, they had napalm that they used, essentially like a gas tank. They let them fire and just dropped and exploded everywhere. And North Korea got really afraid of them. 